Hi, this is Brian Ierson, one of the trainers with the Computer Workshop. In today's tutorial, I'm going to take you through getting data into a graph inside of Adobe's Illustrator. So to begin, I have a blank single page document and we're going to go ahead and look in the toolbar. Second column, third from the bottom, you will see a graphing tool. And if we right click on that to bring out the list of available graphs hidden underneath, you can see here are all the different types of graphs that you have available. Going to keep things simple and just use a column graph for the time being and you simply draw out where you would like this graph to exist. As soon as you let go you are going to have one piece of data in this case one column. This is also going to open the data window and this is where you can type in all of the data that you need to put into your chart. So if I were to change my value here from one to nothing at the moment and type in a let's say day of the week in the cell underneath and then the next day of the week I should do that in caps So there's the next day of the week and finally the third day of the week that we're going to go ahead and graph here. In the first row of our second column, we can type in, let's say that this is going to be pertaining to sales. So let's say that this is going to be pertaining to sales. I tap the enter key that is entered in and now I can type in a series of values and I cannot use the enter key on my number pad I have to use the enter key on my regular keyboard and all of this information is going to come in now this is all of course for just one day even though we have the values and that's because the sales is being shown not quite right. So after I finish entering in all the values I'm going to click the little check mark to apply my edits to the data set or data table I should say and those values are going to be reflected in an accurate chart. Closing the data table. If I needed to edit this data table, while I have this actively selected, I can right click on the chart, or I should say graph, and here I can change the type of graph being used. So let's say I'll change that to a column and simply tap. OK, and that is going to refresh. Now I'm going to go ahead here and again right click on this, type, and change it back into a column. Now this is all very easily done by simply right clicking on the selected graph. So other things that you can notice here that you can modify the data and you can also modify the design. Now if I needed to modify the data, I'm basically going to right click on this, choose the data option and my data table opens and I can continue to add or edit this data as need be. If I am going to place information from Excel, I need to understand that the data cannot be in the Excel or CSV format. So I have created a small representation of data here and we need to save this as a text file. So running the Save As option, I'm going to use the F12 key on my keyboard. 
to bring up my save as and I can save this into whatever folder I need. In this case I will throw it on my desktop in my Illustrator folder as book one. Now this would be the Excel file so I don't really want to hit the save button quite yet. I need to change the format to a text file so we're going to look for the text tab delimited txt file type and then we can tap save. Now of course I could highlight this information in Excel and I can copy it. Jump back into Illustrator and here I am going to clear all of these values and paste that information in using the apply check mark to update this. If I would like this to switch rows and columns I can use the transpose rows and columns button and again tap the apply and we will see we get our sales information going bar by bar by week or by weekday. So that is really effective for a straight up copy paste using my selection tool I'm just going to move this graph up above and I want to talk about importing the data from Excel. I'm going to create a new graph so selecting the graph tool drawing out where I want that graph to exist and in the data table the very first button you see is the import data button. So giving this a tap we can then navigate to wherever that file was stored. So my book1.txt is there and I see my little preview depending on how your system is configured and open and it populates that information and then I can simply use the apply check mark to have my graph display my data that I just imported. Well that completes today's tutorial. I hope that you found this helpful and if you did and you liked what you saw please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and you can also find more information about our company and upcoming classes on tcworkshop.com. Until next time, take care for now.